Hey everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Dwarf Fortress Adventure Mode. Last time we were in the middle of nowhere because apparently... Oh, I did not turn the TV off. Because apparently Dwarven Fortresses aren't actually implemented in this version, which is disappointing. Um, let's take a look at our little adventure here's kills. Stop bouncing the fuck around, please. There. That should be fine. <sighs> 16 notable kills and 21 other. That's not too bad. When did we kill an elf? What? Seeing this? Elven bogeyman? I didn't know they could be elven. Okay. Oh, let's try to get the fuck out of here. Yeah, we're well into nowhere. Oh, let's... Oh, and it's night. Wonderful. So we're gonna be running. Uh, oh well. Let's try to get somewhere interesting. It's gonna be my goal for this episode. Find some place that isn't boring. Also sleep. We need a snack too, so hopefully something will show up for us to nom on. Hopefully something that we can actually eat and not just bogeymen. Which honestly is what I'm expecting to show up. Can't step on that tile. Oh, cool. Nothing tried to kill us in our sleep. Cross over here. Let's go back to town. At least there we'll find roads, which will leave us some sense of direction, if nothing else. Might not be an interesting direction, but it's something. And we don't really have much in the way of leads all the way out here in the middle of fucking nowhere. <sighs> wow, really? That was a short day. Oh, we're almost near town at least. Hopefully we can... Yeah, we made it. Cool. Hello, people. People that I can sleep with and maybe eat. I don't know. So, well, too bad we don't drink that kind of... Um, drink. Eat. Fisherman, we've been caught. Oops. Well, time to murder townsfolk, I suppose. Ooh, wow, we're getting tossed all over the place. Um, we cut off the farmer's arm. Steve's running away scared. Cut off his something, his hand. Cut off his arm. Killed. Okay. Let's just murder all these people then, because, you know, they're already pissed at us because we tried to eat them. Why not? Kind of hurt. No reason to leave witnesses. And yeah, if you attack an opponent that's knocked out, you'll almost always just, you know, Hit them in the head and kill them. Like that. Right there. Of course, sometimes they wake up when you're murdering their neighbors and try to kill you back. Is this a vampire or something? Why is he up? Uh, nope. Doesn't look like a vampire. He would have announced himself anyway if he were. Uh, back to murdering. I'm clicking clacketing with my keyboard like usual. I don't know if that noise annoys sorry that sounded weird. If that sound annoys you folks, but I actually like the sound of loud keyboards like mine. It's part of why I bought the thing. 
Also, it was very cheap. I got this back, um... Let's see, I started playing RPG Maker... Probably 2002? And I got this keyboard because RPG Maker 2 doesn't have like a built-in way to type other than, well, it has a built-in way to type but it's terrible and you should never use it because it's so obnoxiously slow because you literally have to go through a menu with the controller and type out every letter. So I got this keyboard for that because the PS2 does actually have a USB port on it that you can use a proper keyboard with. So, it's exactly what I used it for. But I managed to hold on to it, and it's actually probably my favorite keyboard that I've had. It's just very, I don't know, clackety. I like that. And it's hard to describe, but just pressing the keys feels really right. Like it has enough resistance that you know you press a key, but it doesn't require that much force. So it's not like hard to type on, while still giving you that confirmation that you did actually hit a button, and you're not just, you know, missing completely. I, know, I probably sound like a crazy person because of how much I care about stuff like the resistance of keys and the sound they make when pressed. But Oh well, I am a crazy person, so it's only right that I sound like one. Why would I sound like the same person? Nobody would believe that. Well, at least nobody that knows me. Hmm. There's not really much to talk about here. We're just slaughtering townsfolk. Most of them are probably just farmers. Like, I mean, th they have proper jobs, but most of them probably just work on, like, farms and live off the fields and shit like that. Yeah, proper farmer stuff. And, yeah, let's... Can't rest until I leave this site. Oh, it's because they're hostile. And there's still some left. Let's just leave. Can't travel until I leave the site. Okay, well, let's leave slowly then. Uh, dwarf Fortress, why are you so poorly optimized? It's, a it's literally using 101% of one of my CPUs right now, just running away from this town. Like, for a game, this sort of... I can understand that kind of thing in Fortress mode, where you have a lot going on all the time, but... It seems a bit ridiculous for adventure mode to be that intensive. <sighs> uh -oh. I suppose my computer is a bit old anyway. Can I travel yet? Nope. It looks like we're in the middle of nowhere. Why can't I travel? Hey, a river. I don't think I need you. Because, you know, we're in a human place, and humans are good with these, you know, bridge things. Of course, they're not going to let us travel easily anyway, so what's it matter? Come on. Please get the fuck away from the human town so I can go someplace new. Thank you. Okay, what is this below us? Is that... Yes, that is water. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was water or sand. Um, hmm. Well, any place we go around here is going to be hostile to us now because they know we eat people and humans tend to frown on that sort of thing. The elves don't. Neither do the goblins. But humans and dwarves, they definitely hate this sort of thing. Can't say that I blame them too much. But, you know, vampires gotta eat. What are we supposed to do? Just starve? Die? Oh, fucking hell. Yes, yes, you're cackling. Hello. 
<sighs> I think we already explored all the caves around here, too. Yeah, we don't even have a quest. Oh, well, we need to find something. And we can't find it here because everybody wants us dead now. So, I guess we'll strike out into the woods looking for trouble. Stand up. Thank you. Dawn is breaking. Good. Let's murder some of these then. I can slash and I can slash. Get the fuck out of these guys because they're not actually that strong. What did it look like? Actually. Mm, you know. Description. A small humanoid with lidless eyes. It has four long, curving horns, and it hurls vicious insults constantly. Terrifying. Its gray skin is wrinkled. You now know why you fear the night. Hmm, not so much. Also, it's fat. It sounds kind of cute, actually. I want one as a pet. You, will you be my friend? Oh, what did that one do to us? It broke our everything. Okay. Fine, you won't be my friend, so I'll just have to murder you. Did we drop our axe or something? Apparently. <laughs> An entire page of coin bags. Uh. Oh yeah. I have that shield still, because I'm stupid. So, how many shields do we have now? Yeah, we have three shields equipped now, which is excessive, but I like it. We dropped our axe somewhere. You, do you have our axe? Uh, how would I get my axe back if you have it? Pokemon. Ah, it's over there. Still bad locks. No, don't put it in the bag. Damn it, I need that. That's much better. Cacking fades away. Okay, let's get out of here. Um, or run into a river. Fucking rivers are everywhere. We've experienced too many rivers in this. Especially as this character. Is there anything interesting around? No, I meant. So, let's look at the quest map. Hamlet that we're probably hated in, a fortress that's... Ooh, okay. It's a tower. Did I take reading on this character? I can't remember. But there's a tower. Southwest. Okay. Well, let's try to get over this river. See how that goes. What are you? Cobalt? No, cobalt's are gray. What are you? King snake. What the fuck is a king snake? Obviously it's some sort of snake, but is it poisonous? Known for eating other snakes and being mistaken for its poison. Oh, so it's an extremely dull snake of no particular interest. Hey, a river. It's like we went from a freezing biome to a scorching one in a matter of like moments here. Like I know it was in game it was a matter of like two days, 
still. Moments. An alligator. Game. Thank you. That's an alligator. I don't really care about that. We've killed alligators. Two of them, I think. They're just not that entertaining anymore. It's old news. You don't need your kind around here, alligator. You need this kind, though. That is the map kind. It looks like we're entering Badlands, too, so maybe these rivers will fuck off and we can travel neatly and calmly. Mm, more rivers. Well, of course, it's between two lakes. I'm not sure why I'm surprised by the fact that there are a couple rivers, but I prefer not to have rivers. Huh, this is a pretty big town, but I don't know if we're wanted here. We probably are. Okay, thank you. We're probably wanted here, but I'm not sure. Well, let's go down here, and if I can't travel away, then I'm at least not too far away from the exit, and I can just, you know, haul my undead ass towards it. Yeah, we're not approved up here. You're a merchant. Fuck you. I was just going to rob you, but now I'm going to kill you and rob you, apparently. Because you're assholes. I'm just going to leave you alone. Where's your bag? Let's see. I don't know why I'm grabbing bags. I still don't know why I'm grabbing bags, but I don't know. It's just something I like to do. Let's grab a bag, grab bag, grab bag, grab bag. Okay, I think we have enough bags for the moment. Okay, well, let's see if we can travel. No, we can't travel until we leave the site. Of course we can't. You can do it, game. I know you can. Yeah, the game's running like shit because it's a big town. I should have seen that coming. But I didn't, so here we are. Entering our way out of town. Extremely slowly. Yeah, watching these videos back, it sometimes it's hard for even me to tell what is like my recording just being desynced and what is the game actually just running like shit. Because most of it is surprisingly the game itself and not my recording setup being, you know, sort of half assed and janky. My recording setup is definitely half assed and janky, but it's not the only issue that I'm having with this. Yeah. When I start other games that aren't as poorly optimized, it should run fine. And even this game, if I'm not recording, it's not too bad. But with the extra uh, burden, I suppose, on my system from recording my desktop, which is the program I use to actually record, because I'm a Linux geek, so I can't use like Fraps or whatever it is most people use. But actually, I can bring it right down. Yeah, like, 
This is when I'm not doing anything in the game and it's using this much CPU on my, you know, old VR computer. And when I'm actually doing stuff that Dwarf Fortress one spikes up to easily 100%. Sometimes 101%, which I'm not quite sure how that works, but you know, it does what it does. Oh well. Are we out yet? Yes, we are. Good. Yeah, it's the middle of the night, of course, but yeah, we're out. Try to sleep until the day and get harassed by night creatures because it's what they do. Yeah, it's incessant backling. Um. Wow. The fuck? Uh. Uh. What? Okay, so. Apparently, all of this just happened, like, all at once. Yeah. Um. Close up. One button. What the hell? Game. How many fucking night creatures are there here? Uh, shit ton, apparently. Oh no, my speed is fucking dick. Why is my speed dick? Um. Okay, maybe I should drop some stuff. I. I. Um. My speed's not going up. Why is my speed not going up? Okay, that lowered my speed, but I dropped everything, but, you know, whatever. Did I drop my axe? Am I stupid? Don't answer that, but... I'm stupid, aren't I? Yeah, I'm totally stupid. But I didn't drop my axe, so that's good at least. Let's pick up some of this. Definitely want the tail. Don't need food. I want the dagger. I don't know why I want the dagger. Take a pouch. Just one. Take our tooth. It's not our tooth, but it's our tooth now. That's probably what it was. 107 giant cave spider meat and 99 giant cave spider meat and 89 giant cave spider meat. Yeah, we had way too much meat on us. Okay, we don't need nearly that much. I'm still surrounded by cackling. So, we're heading southwest, so let's run in that general direction, shall we? Hey, cackling. And it fades away. You dead? Yes, you are. Okay. Apparently we're on a road some of some description. And rivers. Always fucking rivers. I'll sleep until dawn, though. And now we try to get over this river, so we can get over the next river, and maybe find something of interest. Maybe. I'm honestly not that hopeful that we will, but, hey, river. It's nice that we actually have some swimming skill now, so we're not floundering around the water half the time, and it doesn't take us, you know, 
20 steps to make it across a three tile wide river. It's something that always annoys me about new adventurers because you can't really afford to sink too many points in swimming. You just want enough that you don't drown. Alright, good, this side's coming up. But having low swimming is just really obnoxious. Uh, we gotta cross another river. This world is very wet. Captain Costner would probably like it. Hey, a river. I nice that I have discovered you, but can I cross you safely? The answer is probably. Um, what are you? Card. Funny, um, in the earliest versions of this game that had, like, properly implemented 3D, um, well, Z levels, rather. It's not really 3D. But in the first level, first few versions, carp were actually the most dangerous creatures in the game because they were so ridiculously fast, and they were very good at pulling dwarves, adventurers, random passerbys, what have you, into the water with them, where they couldn't properly escape. Are we being attacked by something, or is the game just being weird? Um, why do I feel uneasy? I don't see anything. Sensed back the cinder of perfecting a giant lion. Why is the lion talking to me? Why is that in parentheses? Is he telling me telepathically that he slew Odin Wilt Pillar? What the fuck? Okay, where are you, kitty? I want to pet the kitty. There you are. Come here, kitty. Good kitty. Good kitty. Wow, that was disappointing. You are a terrible lion. How heavy is your corpse? Ooh, all of the heavies. Okay, I'm gonna throw that. That is a very heavy corpse. Um, well. Okay, well, you are an interesting diversion, but now you're extremely dead. Extremely and disappointingly dead. Are we getting attacked again? Are you another lion? Please don't be another lion. I know they, like, have groups and... Oh, you're just another small kitty. I don't care about you. Did you drop any interesting bits? Paw, blood... No. That giant lion, other than being telepathic, apparently, was rather dull. I expected more from a lion that could speak to me. I wonder if you knew that lion from Narnia. I never actually liked Narnia. I don't know why I referenced it just now. Probably because it was too easy not to. But... What is that water? That clearly looks like sand to me, but whatever, apparently it's water. So let's go upstream a bit to where it's narrower and cross another fucking river. Uh, I shouldn't title this adventure mode, I should title this river mode. And just cut out all the non river related bits. Honestly, how much of this would I be cutting out if I cut out only the non-river stuff? Or all of the non-river stuff? With this adventure, probably not that much, actually. Which is kind of odd to think about. What the fuck are you? You a sea lamprey or something? Stingray? Okay. Can I choke a stingray? No, because I can't catch a stingray. Never mind. Oh, that's what I should have done. I should have eaten that cheetah. I'm stupid. Because we've been thirsty for a while, and I haven't actually done anything about it. Hey, what are you? Do you fly? Are you a buzzard? 
No, you're Barn Owl. Okay. Well, I'm up for chasing down a Barn Owl. Barn Owl, come here. I would throw something at you, but... Barn Owl, arm... Um... Buttons. Thank you. Grab throat. Barn owl. Wrestle. Choke. Barn owl. Choke barn owl. Oops. I said choke barn owl, not murder barn owl. What the fuck? Place a choke hold and then we charged him and broke off his beak? Owl. Poor owl. Hey, is that your beak? What's your beak? I'm taking your beak. Bye, owl. Thanks for the beak. That was pretty nice of you. Especially after we kind of killed you and stuff. And tried to eat you. Cackling? Cackling. Why the fuck are we sleeping in a drained pool? Hey, you, animal, what are you? What'd that say? Marshall Chance. <coughs> aardvark? Are aardvarks even nocturnal? What the fuck are you doing up at this hour? Park. Where's your throat? There it is. Never wrestled an aardvark before. Yep. I feed on aardvark. I feed on aardvark. I feed on aardvark. Okay. Bye, Aardvark. Thanks for the blood. <coughs> well, it takes care of that problem, at least. Doesn't solve this bogeyman problem. How long have I been recording? I should stop and... Yeah, I'm definitely gonna... I'm gonna cut it here for a second. I might put... I might be back might not. So, maybe bye for now, maybe see you in a second.